everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're Stephen Gamer here, and today, guys, I'm going to take you on a complete new adventure of On My OG, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do daily to complete the game. Once you learn the basics, then it'll become a lot easier because at first, this gets a little bit complicated, guys. It's hard to kind of learn everything while you just begin the game. I think that's kind of the problem of the game is too much stuff all at once, and you kind of get overwhelmed and say, whoa, what am I doing here? But once you learn how everything works, it makes it a lot easier. So you're at the right place right now. I'm going to shed some light on this game for you guys and show you exactly what each function does. So you can kind of take it on your own and, uh, you know, run with it afterwards, however you want to do with it. So where should we begin? Um, all right. First things first, let's start off with the main kind of component of the game. And that is the game's title. It's called On My OG for a reason. So we're going to click on the On My OG button there. And uh, this is kind of your main base of your team all right you have four different on my OGs that you can choose from right now i've unlocked three the fourth one is uh at level 15 all right i'm almost there but i don't worry about that that's not the most important thing the, the most important thing is you can you're going to be basing your team around your on my OG first of all or you're gonna base your on my OG on your team you'll see what i mean in just a second so you can only choose one of four of these characters all right uh and your info is going to tell you what their stats are you know right, right there it's going to also show you their abilities these are the skills that i've got on them right now you click on skills you can change his skills at any time all right you can always adjust and change them you cannot change the first one here this one is a constant it will never change uh this is his basic attack and as you can see there it's already i've already unlocked them at level four you can unlock this by getting more shards of this on my OG, alright? That's how you unlock it. So this is just a basic attack. Passive. All passives, you do not have to equip them. They're automatically equipped on your hero, right? So don't you don't don't worry about that. The other ones you can just click and then it'll tell you if you can change or not. These you can kind of judge for yourself what's good and what's not. I'll cover these in a later video. But for now, I just want to show you guys they all have special abilities. So no matter who you choose, you know, they're all gonna have special abilities. This this guy is pretty cool because he's got three passive abilities. So that's always interesting. But uh, I'll cover that later on. All right. So that covers my, uh, you know, on my OGs as a whole. You choose one of them and you kind of build your team around there. This is their skills. Totems are kind of complicated in one way and kind of not in one way. This is where you uh, enhance um, their stats. Essentially, you can just click and enhance right there. And you're going to be able to sacrifice a lot of these totems. You're going to feed them to your totem and um, pretty much get them a lot stronger. You have a lot of different uh, levels here. As you can see, I'll cover that in just a second. So there's six different spots that you can choose from. Normally, what you want to do is make sure that you're not sacrificing the right ones. All right, guys, I'll explain that in just a second. So let's head back from that. That's how you enhance them. And then bio just shows you um, a lot of different things that you will unlock as the story mode goes on. Skins is skins. You can uh, discover skins as you go along in the story mode. They always have some for sale, all that type of stuff. But it's just skins, you know. All right, so that covers on my OG in the shell. Now, let's take a look at your main heroes. This is where your team is all at. That's the Shikigami there. These are all your characters, guys. You're going to have a list of all types of characters, and they range from anywhere from SSR, which is the your main one, all the way up to uh, literally just material. This stuff is just material, or you have your normal rank there. Rares, super rares, and then SSRs are the main ones. If you have an SSR, it's great. You know, they're usually way more powerful than the, than the other ones as you can see i got two right here right now what do you do with your main shikigami here first of all let's go on the details your information is going to show you their stats all right they're ranked anywhere from a to d um depending on how good you know that stat is so as you can see for my shikigami here this is the shotten doji s crit uh, I wish it was a little bit better in all other stats, but it's not surprisingly for an SSR. Um, he's A and B in special defense and attack. It's okay, but that's fine. Now, normally what you want to do is enhance them. Uh, you can go a bunch of different ways how to enhance these heroes, guys. You can kind of... So he's really, you know, lacking on defense. You can enhance him so his defense is better. You can enhance him so his offense is better. Yeah, give him a lot more crit. It's up to you how you want to go with it. But I'm going to show you how you can do it. The abilities are down here, right? Really quickly, you can take a look at the abilities. And uh, you can judge for yourself which heroes is better for you. But really quickly, the 
the way that you enhance their levels here is to get more copies of this hero. You need more copies of this hero or their special material that are in the game that also act as uh, copies of a certain hero and they will unlock level 2. Because as you can see, I've unlocked level 2 here and I, I only had one copy of him. Okay, so that's how you unlock these other abilities. Just feed them more of the same type. If you go to souls here, this is what I was talking about before. These are the souls that we were that you can feed also to your totems. But these are also used to put on your Shikigami here to enhance their stats. They, there's, they, there's so many of them right now. Uh, it's kind of hard to choose from. But if you go to type, you will see all the types that you kind of can build into one. Now, the plus two one and plus four, there's only two different bonuses that you can get. If you have two of the same one, it'll give you that times two bonus, all right? If you have four of the same one, it'll give you that times four one. If you have them, um, that's the most that you can ever get, all right? Now, let's take a look. As you can see here, I've activated the Soul Taker. I've got four of the same one there. You should never have more than four, guys, because it kind of goes to waste. Because as you can see, two set is going to give you, it gives me attack bonus of 15. And then a four set gives me the attack bonus. Plus it's going to grant 20% chance of gaining one extra move after performing an action. So that's pretty good for him right here. So as you can see, that's the kind of, you know, that's the one I went with. Soul Taker. And then for the two piece, I went for the Watcher, just an extra bonus attack. All right. Now you can kind of change these as you want. Each slot has its own, um, you know, totem that you can feed them. So... The top one there is one, and then you go down the line, guys. It just goes all around two, three, four, five, and six. You can substitute what you want for which one, you know, for what hero you want to put on there. So that's souls. Kind of a, a gist about that. Now, each hero you can evolve. Shikigami, you can evolve them. It's kind of simple. The way to evolve your Shikigami is you have to have enough of these material down here. And the, or, the only way you can actually get these is you just click on it, you get get, and it'll take you to the page where you can get them. There are these evil material that you can get in the story mode, and then you can defeat the stage and it'll drop, you know, whatever you need. It'll drop lightning drums, or it'll drop fire, or water, whatever you need, it's going to drop them. And then that's how you build enough to evolve your Shikigami in... You know what I mean? And then it changes the skin. It's going to make him a lot more powerful. Obviously, it's going to he's going to be a lot more better if I, you know, evolve him. Once I evolve him. And it says their defense is going to increase by 10%, which is pretty cool, actually, because he needs it. Bio. These are locked, but you can unlock them if you do the special requirements that they need. And as you can see, it'll give you level up uh, Shatten Dojo to level 30 to unlock that. And a couple of other different requirements, all right? Now... Let's go back here, and there's a button there we can promote them. There's other ways to promote your Shikigami, guys. There's two different ways. So first of all, you need to level them up. By offering material or offering other heroes as sacrifices, you can... Let's just click here on rare. So you can just click on all these ones that you want to sacrifice, and you will offer them up into that one Shikigami to level them up. As you can see there, I'm offering up all these ones. They're all rares, and it only increases one level, so it's harder to get. Once you get to level 20, that's the first max that you can get to. After 20, you have to up upgrade them before you can get to the next level cap. All right, so that's how that one works. Now, once you reach a level cap, so level 20 is your first level cap, you have to upgrade them. The way to upgrade your Shikigami is there is a total of six. Um, they have nines there, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as stars. All right, so uh, the most you can get is six stars. The way to enhance your stars is you have to sacrifice the same amount of that many stars heroes. So right now, this Shikigami is nine. I mean, it's three stars. As you can see, I have to sacrifice three level three. Well, you have to be a level max, first of all, before I go anywhere. But you have to be you have to get him to level 25. That's his next max. And then you have an offer of three of three level. You know, what I mean, three star heroes into him. To make him a four star and then obviously he becomes a lot more better a lot more powerful and then his max level is going to increase to level 30 which then you have to level him up all the way to level 30 once again and then you can upgrade him again but at that point you are going to have to sacrifice four level four heroes okay so that kind of breaks it down a little bit so the whole point is to get as many love you know get as higher you know shikigami as you can and then you can sacrifice weaker ones that you don't really need into stronger ones and that's how you kind of get one or two of them really really strong so that's the gist of leveling and upgrading all right so i 
as you can see right here, I am very, very close to level 20 for my uh, old Tango here. And I really love this guy. He's really cool. Uh, I will go into him a little bit later. But he's got some awesome abilities. And this, I will do the same thing for him right now so you guys can kind of see. So if I give him this one material, I'm going to get him to the like, you know, max level here, level 20. As you can see, he's reached his level cap right now. He cannot go anymore in level because he's maxed out as you can see now i would have to upgrade him here the only way i can upgrade him is i have to sacrifice two level two monsters for me to upgrade them here now these don't really give you experience so it's kind of a waste to use your material on them what i would suggest is you go for the least you know what i mean your least amount of heroes that you need for this so the ones that i have a lot of copies of i kind of want to keep for now because i want to get you know i want to use them as sacrificial you know as sacrifices for later on uh, i guess for now i can just use these two materials yeah i'm gonna use those because i really don't need them right now so as you can see i'm going to use two level two monsters i'm gonna sacrifice into him and all of a sudden now he's jumped into a level three hero and uh check out the stat boost the stat boost is incredible you know from 369 to 469 that's a big attack boost right there. And now that he's at level 4, I can promote him further. I can level him up to, up to level 25. And then afterwards, once again, I can upgrade him if I wanted to. You know, this one takes him all the way. Look at this. It's The blue one is so great because it takes him from fruit 2 all the way to 25. But don't forget, guys, this material is also... The level, as you can see, it's not level 1. It's level 14. And there's other ways to get your material higher levels. We'll talk about that later on, as I said. All right, same way, same thing with, with this guy. Let's take a look at his uh, at his souls here. Um, now, as you can see, for his souls, I have a four piece of the harpy, and it gives him attack boost and gains. So the if you get four of them, it's gonna give you a gain three orbs when an enemy is KO'd. So as soon as you kill an enemy, you're gonna be able to get three orbs, which is pretty good because the orbs is what you use in battles to attack. All right, and then my other two piece. I don't have a two piece just yet because I went with this because it gives them some great, you know, bonuses with attack there and defense and HP. Um, and then I went with this one as well. But I'm going to, you know, break this down a little bit further and take a look at what I'm going to do. So I need, you kind of need the same ones for one and three. So just for the sake of the video, guys, I'll show you what I mean. So if I use this one here, let's switch that one, right? That's one. And then I go to the third one and I use the same exact one. And as you can see, it's going to give me a set activation. So I just activated the two piece set attack bonus of 15, which is pretty good. You know what I mean? 15% is a pretty good bonus. And if you get four of these ones, it converts 20% of damage dealt into HP. So you can turn this guy kind of into a uh, healer. So this, these are so important that you really, really do a lot for each hero. So keep in mind, souls are very important. All right, so that in a whole kind of covers up pretty much all you need to know about your Shikigamis and your Anmyojis, all right, in a gist. Now, there's a lot more things here to cover, guys. We haven't even started, but I don't want to get, you know, the video to get too, too long. But we're going to just break down the whole bottom row really quickly. So in your collection, guys, that's pretty basic here. In your collection, here is where you can check out your Shikigamis here, you know, your SSRs and you can read up on them, you can read their skills, you can kind of see where you can get them, that's about it. This is where you can check up all those souls that we just talked about, alright? You know, what their two-piece combo is, what their four-piece combo is, and it'll show you how much you have. So for this guy, I'm pretty much, I only need one more at the third slot, and then I can kind of, I have six of them, so... Uh, at this point, I can already create a four-piece, which is pretty good, and you can just check and see where you know what you need as you build your souls as you can see right here i already have most of these so i can create this one hp and damage taken decreased by 30 percent all right so that's it right there so that's pretty much the ba the gist of that uh the team section there this is kind of essentially your co-op page this is where you can get a lot of different material you know a lot of different evo stones evil material all you gotta click is whichever one you need you can click on that right now people spur these up every single day all you gotta do is hit join you'll join a team and then you'll go battling those monsters throughout the you know story mode once you defeat them you all get a bunch of good material all right so you can kind of join level you know you can set a level that you want you can create your own team you can go to one two three four stages depending on how powerful you are really quickly here if you go to, to these ones right here coin spirit the kraken and the experience spirit these ones go on a uh, refresh they're on a timer guys so once you beat it 
one. So let's say the Kraken was available right now. I can go and attack him. If once we take down the Kraken, he'll go on a refresh period. So you can't attack him again. You'll have to wait as I'm waiting for these experienced ones and these ones right now. So if I click join, it says, nope, you cannot join. You have to wait 22 more uh, minutes, all right? The other ones, they don't. The other ones, you can attack as many times as possible, but you will be using your sushi. Your sushi is essentially your stamina. So keep that in mind, guys. At the top, you have your stamina, so you can use them for your stamina for so many different things. It's up to you. The way to use your stamina is go to explore. Now, you are on the main story mode. This is your explore this is where you can do a lot of different things but you got your chapters there so you can attack for different souls and then this is where you can click at the bottom there you got an evil material uh four different kind of evil evil evolution materials there uh souls is where you can go attack to get you know souls uh shards and the realm raid this is essentially the arena guys this is where you fight in the arena you can kind of click on anybody you want to fight there uh you know raid log at the bottom is going to tell you how many you can do you build up your coins and then your weekly rank is at the bottom of 11,000 right now but I, as you can see i'm still just started the game guys this i'm brand new this is day two of me playing but i did try the game out before i you know i'm in this account this is kind of a new game but yeah you can just attack you can battle in the arena and that's pretty much it for that that's how, where the arena is at now let's go back uh guild guild is pretty simple you go ahead you know find the guild that you enjoy that you like join the guild and then this is your guild information here uh wish is where you should every day you can make one wish guys it's essentially just pick out one hero one shikigami that you want and you ask your guild mates to kind of support you and they can donate if they have extras they can donate to you and you can donate to them if you have extras that's kind of how that one works ranking don't worry about that and shrine is where you can kind of sacrifice things it's kind of like a shrine that's pretty much it like every other game you go into the shrine you can sacrifice some things to, to to get some rewards uh okay let's go ahead over to the mall guys the mall check it out isn't it beautiful the mall is where everybody's chilling and all that good stuff but this is kind of where you uh get shanked this is where you get shafted pretty much because you're gonna be probably spending money here if you're really into the game here in this one in this store you can you should always go ahead and buy these ones for 600 guys gold always buy this for gold gold is uh seems like it's at abundance right now meaning like it's not that hard to get gold but all these material are definitely useful all material is useful you know buy all that all right so bam we bought all that right there in the soul shops uh mystic shop <sighs> this one i've never used yet really but uh i right now i don't really know what to do with this one it seems like you can exchange some some things for some other things but uh i'm not gonna mess with that right now packs pretty simple you can buy packs you can buy all these packs from spending you know money so don't worry about that right now and then the general store here is uh, the same kind of thing you can buy some different things with whatever you need so you can buy look at that experience bonus for three days spend that's your currency there guys i'm not even sure what they call it here but i'm gonna call it your gems your diamonds you spend diamonds you buy amulet pack is coins if you need to buy some uh, sushi mcdushi right there 100 sushi if you need to buy experience for three days that's that's that right there so that's pretty much it for those um and uh that pretty much covers everything in the mall the mall is where you just buy your stuff pretty easy let's head over to the quest now quest is your daily quest guys make sure you complete your daily quest as always you get some good rewards always complete your daily quest achievements you just that's just the achievements there um friends uh this is where you add friends <laughs> as it says add your friends here add page you can check there's this is your page you can add pictures there you can add your own pictures message board whatever you want to leave people co-op you have to get buddies to do the co-ops you it kind of it's good for everybody if you can get a group of people so if you guys want to join me guys always hit me up we can team up we this is pretty cool because you can definitely team up and do a lot of cool things in this game which is incredible that's kind of why i'm looking forward to it we'll be able to play together for you know a lot of good things because up here as you can see uh for six jade you can get 30 jade and your friend gets a reward too but you know i need some good friends i need to to go do this with some good people and so that pretty much covers your your task at the bottom there guys very simply summon over here is where you obviously summon um you know on my ogs and you, i mean not on my ogs when you shikakamis your heroes there um town the town is pretty cool too because you can do a lot of daily things here but they're running at certain times all right so as you can see you gotta kind of pay attention they're all at a different time 
So it's kind of hard to go into that right now because we don't, you know, it's not the right time for it. Um, this little guy right here is where you can kind of hit your progress and you can do his little quests. And uh, this little Thursday button there, guys, is where they show you the events, all right? So make sure you do these. The these are just daily events or weekly events. There are a certain time for those. You do those there. And this is the same thing where you do events. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. I mean, I know I went through a lot of different things fast. Oh, really quickly at the top, there's a bonus button there. Don't forget, guys. This A lot of people forget this here. But this is what you build up. You can build these up. I actually, I don't think I even paid for any of these. These are just... You kind of just get these through the story mode but as you see there they're all paused meaning they're not running right now if you click the play button they're gonna run so if i want battle experience 100 percent i have about nine minutes or ten minutes of battle experience if i'm running through the campaign real quickly i can hit that and i get extra extra experience which is pretty cool you know it's very very cool there uh one more thing that i wanted to show you guys is uh, once we go into the guild yeah once we go into the guild here, you click on the realm. This is kind of like your defense, your arena de defense here. It's kind of strange, but this is where your it's your arena defense. So, click on realm defense. Don't forget to set this up, guys. A lot of people are not setting this up right now because they don't really know what's going on. They don't really know how to play the game. It's too new. They don't know it yet. But this is your defense, right? You click your uh, on my OG to, to put there, and then you put your your lineup, five hero lineup, for this. All right, that's your defense that other people are going to attack you when you know in the story mode where we check the realm there That's where they're going to attack you in promote as you see there in the promotion here This is where you put your heroes that you want to gain experience So here I got an empty spot here and this guy's at level 19. So let's put him in there. Yes uh, As you can see you just put your heroes there and they're going to get experience as you just don't do nothing you know, you just put them in there, sit back, and just let them gain experience. All right, it's pretty cool. At the top there, as you can see, I've got one, my guy here. Uh, this is the trust slot. This is where you can use your friends, kind of uh, use their realm, right? You put your hero in their realm, and it gains experience. And then they do the same thing for you. So as you can see, somebody's got that for me here. And I got that for, you know, I put mines there, and they put it on my realm. So you can kind of exchange realms there. All right, that's the promote. Uh, realm card this is pretty cool here because you will be able to get cards throughout the game as you can see here and then you use these cards for bonus experience okay so you just run this uh, right now i'm running this moon uh 2800 per hour experience for a certain amount of time okay and then you can also fuse these but be careful i don't really know too much about fusing just yet i haven't messed around with this too much yet but i just know that you can fuse a few to get a better one but yeah so you can place these here and uh you can just run them and then you get extra experience, all right? And then you just click on the experience there, and boom, everybody's getting experience, okay? Now, let's take a look at this little sushi table here. So this is um, kind of where you build some more um, sushi. Obviously, right now, it stores 20% access AP, which is your, I, I call it sushi, because you use it for your stamina. And then here, you can just gather it. You can withdraw it if you want. So I'm going to gather that. Boom. Thank you. Thank you for that sushi. And it's going to keep rebuilding. This one is for experience. Let's withdraw that. Boom. Everybody gets experience. All right. Now you can level these up with certain requirements. So, so this one, you're going to need 200 of those arena tickets there. And you can level up to level two. So those arena tickets are pretty cool because you can use them to, um, you know, level up your experience pot and your stamina pot here same thing for this 150 and you can level up your stamina pot all right so that's really quickly for that there's only three things here to worry about so you know not to don't worry about too many things just make sure you set up your defense make sure you put in your heroes to get experience and put a card in there that's pretty much it for that realm there all right so that actually pretty much does it guys there's uh that's everything in the game really really in a gist in a whole very fast this should kind of get you along the path the right path to learning about this game and then you experience it for yourself a lot more once you play it all right but for now that's pretty much it i'm War stepping gamer and i am out